In this video, we will discuss on how to use the TCP sampler in Jnator. Stay tuned till the end of this video, where I will be showing the live demo on how to use the TCP sampler in Apache Jnator. So, let's get started. Let's say we have a web application that communicates with a backend server using a custom TCP protocol on port 1 to 3 4. Now, we want to load test the backend server using Jmitter's TCP sampler. First, we need to add a TCP sampler to our Jmitter test plan. To do this, right click on the thread group and select Add Sampler TCP Sampler. In the config tab of the TCP sampler, we need to set the server name or IP address, the port number, in our case, 1234, and the EOL byte value, if required. In the request tab of the TCP sampler, we need to enter the request data that will be sent to the server. This will vary depending on the custom protocol being used. For example, we might send a command string followed by a new line character. Let's see the TCP sampler in action. Open JMeter and add the TCP sampler. To do this, we need to first add the thread group, then under samplers, locate and add TCP sampler. Check the description for the server name, port number, and the request body that I have used in this video. For demo purpose, I have used a public test server that provides a simple WebSocket echo service over TCP. You can connect to it using JMeter TCP sampler and send any message you like, and the server will respond with the same message. Add the view results tree to verify the outcome of the test. Run your JMeter test plan and view the results in the view results tree listener. You should see a successful response from the server that echoes back your message. In JMeter TCP sampler, the EOL is nothing but end of line. The EOL byte value is used to indicate the end of a line of data when sending a request to the server. The default EOL byte value is backslash in new line character, but it can be customized according to your needs. This is important because some servers require specific line endings, such as backslash or backslash in carriage return plus new line to properly pass incoming requests. By setting the EOL byte value correctly, you can ensure that your TCP sampler sends requests that are properly formatted and can be understood by the server. To customize the EOL byte value in JMeter TCP sampler, you can go to the config tab of the TCP sampler and enter the desired byte value in the end of line EOL byte value field. 